Hi. In XSI, we have toolbars, and toolbars can be used to facilitate your work and help you work a lot faster and more efficiently in Softimage XSI. So let's have a look at that. If we go to our main menu, we'll see a menu here called View. Let's go ahead and click on that to expand it, and you'll see another menu called Toolbars. It'll open up a submenu, and this submenu will show you many toolbars that you can open up in XSI. All these toolbars that you see here come default with XSI, so they'll be available to you if you have XSI 6 or above. Now, if I go over here and open up one of these toolbars, say for example the VM Views toolbar, you'll see I have several buttons here, and these buttons change the view configuration of XSI. So I could switch to this view by clicking on that button. I can switch to a three panel view with an explorer, render pass, and user view all automatically. It lets me work a little bit faster because I have these buttons already preset and arranged for me right in front of me. But that's not exactly what I'm after. Let me switch over to my default configuration and maximize this view with the F12 key. I'm going to go back to my toolbars and this time I'm going to open up the material presets toolbar. And it opens up this very large toolbar down here with lots and lots of different tabs. What these are are material presets. So let's see how they work. If I hold down the Q key by default in XSI, I can drag out a render region to render this little sphere out. And what I get is a sphere with a default Fong material on it. It's very gray, very bland, very boring. So let's make things a little bit more interesting. By going in here in these different tabs of the material presets toolbar, I can pull up different pre-made materials, say like I can go to this flesh tab and I can grab this some skin shader, left click and drag it right on top of your sphere. And when you drop it on top of your sphere, your sphere will automatically go ahead and have that shader applied by XSI. So you can quickly use these shader presets to go ahead and apply shaders to your objects very quickly and very easily. This is great for people who are inexperienced with materials and surfacing in XSI. And also if you're just trying to save time and it just so happens that one of these presets matches up to exactly what it is that you're looking for to get the effect you want in XSI when you render out your objects. So it's very simple to use, very intuitive. Just go straight to a tab, grab one of these shaders with your mouse, and just left click and drag on top of your object, and boom, you're done. So there's lots and lots of different tabs with lots and lots of different shaders in each tab. I encourage you to go ahead and explore them, check them out, and see what kind of neat effects you can come up with. That does it for toolbars. Thanks for watching.